So, Tyrion's legacy. So, Alexandros. So, Tyrion Forgering took up the Ashbringer in my absence. I can think of few more worthy. This must be quite funny <laughs> if this is happening with a player character who is a paladin who was the most recent wielder of the Ashbringer. Yep. Um, Darien, indeed. He met the Lich King in battle and shattered Frostmourne itself. Yet you sought to raise him into undeath. Why deny him the rest he had earned? I once told Tyrion that only a silver hand can wield an ebon blade. We needed a fourth horseman, one to lead the others. He seemed the right choice. It appears fate chose differently. This is not the legacy I meant to leave you, Darien. You taught me to defend that which I hold dear. I am proud to carry on such a legacy. I am proud of you, my son. Nice. Now, I feel like there's one thing that we should cover a whole bunch better here. Mm. They killed a bunch of fucking paladins. Straight up murdered the... It's just this weird thing of Blizzard only seems to treat stuff that happens to their big named characters as like being important or existing. Because mm. in my head, I thought all that stuff was cool. But then the second Darien and the, and the crew just go in and kill a whole bunch of paladins. And the plot, I think, is never resolved properly that this has taken place. Nope, never is. Um, and I, I guess if this is just how we're doing it, Blizz, that ain't okay, that ain't enough. You need to treat, you know, what happens to, like, regular characters and foot soldiers and stuff with a lot of importance because that's the stuff that matters real big in a world-building way. Um, so... Yeah, you know, nice interaction, I will say. Nice interaction. It's just I have a little bit of a sticking point about that part of the Legion. Um, yeah, just of Legion. I don't know. Yeah, like where's 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 the world where BFA continued those class story quests and we had to, you know, DKs and Paladins had to have a big fight. And, you know, maybe, maybe the priests didn't want to go help the Paladins, so there's contention between the priests and the Paladins who were basically operated as one unit a couple of times during Legion. What if, you know, the Paladins wanted revenge on the DKs, but the priests were like, none of our business. And then there was contention between two forces of the light, contentions between the Paladins and the DKs. And then you've got some actual interesting, like, world stuff That's on there. so much more interesting than, oh no, a big bad's going to destroy the world. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's a, the that's a point. Like, so. But then that's only limited to a couple of classes, so. Storylines like that in general, I think, are what we need to do more of. Yep. I think players love that shit. Hmm. Um, okay, so continuing on then, Uther and Jaina have um, a bit of a quick catch-up where it's like, yeah, they haven't seen each other since shortly after the calling of Stratholm. Talking about memories, Uther says he's tried to put the past behind him. Now with what's being done to Anduin, all those painful memories have flooded back again. So there's poor Jaina. Uther, memories are like mirrors. They show us parts of ourself, and sometimes parts we'd like to forget. But you can choose what lessons to carry forward, what to leave behind. I loved him, you know. As did I for Uther. Take that love with you, Jaina. Let it lend you strength in dark times. And then they go to have a catch up. Nice moment. Yeah. Great. Nice moments are good. Yeah. I, I feel like it's it's that funny thing where we're the players are always praising these sort of stay a while and listen moments. And in my head I kinda just think like could we maybe learn from this that doing it as like a weird optional dialogue thing it's like let's make this kind of telling a story be actually a core thing but you know give my character some uh, dialogue options just do it a little bit like ff and have this be a you know a three-way conversation yeah. and uh you know then my character is actually interacting with these people and i think that's just going to help players feel way more connected to these characters and invested in the story um, instead of just, you know, like, oh, wow, in the most recent episode, I found out this about the characters I like in this TV show, which is how the wow plot feels, because you don't really interact with it big. Yeah, it's funny. Debbie actually says here, did they forget the halls of reflection with Uther and Jaina for Alliance? Uh, <laughs> uh, that's a different shade. That's like a little shade of Uther. That's not this Uther. That's the, uh, yeah. No, hang on. Because if Uther's got his memory restored, mm. if he's restored... Oh, no. Don't do this. <laughs> Good catch, because... God damn it, yeah, Debbie. Because that is, the, that is the, the, the restored Uther. So they just kind of... <laughs> they just for, they, I guess they just forgot or didn't want to deal with the fact that it was a partial Uther talking 
That's interesting. That's uh, that's re oh, that's really grim, actually. It's really grim, man. Good job, Debbie. <laughs> you yeah. should be. Oh, did were they not? Were they not hiring a specific role on the team for some kind of lore master kind of person? I can't oh. remember. I remember. I can't remember saying that. I think I saw it on Twitter somewhere. Where they were hired, they're like hiring someone specifically in a role to be the kind of narrative, knowing everything. Maybe, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe you should apply for that, Debbie. <laughs> yeah, that's a good catch. Um, that's that's yeah. weird. They could just hand wave it away by saying, "Oh, it's a shade of Uther." Like it is Uther, but it's just a little shade. Oh, yeah, weird. but Jaina didn't mention it. Like Jaina didn't mention. <sighs> it's a shade of Jaina as well. <laughs> <laughs> kind of forgot. She just Dan and Dave, yeah. yeah, yeah. She just forgot under all the stress of you know everything else that happened to her after that. Man, someone oh, people talk about Noble. Man, yeah, I listened to Noble's recent video there, his own narrative criticisms and where he would want the Sylvanas plotline to go, and it's just like, yeah, true, true. Better story, better story. Mm -hmm.